Today we'll explore the development of T-cell receptor repertoires in mice to assess clonal diversity and T-cell distribution as part of the ImmunoSeq Discovery Series. In this study by Lee et al., the ImmunoSeq mouse TCR beta assay was used to examine tissue repertoires in mice littermates at three time points. The aim of the study was to compare thymic and peripheral TCR beta repertoires between mice at different ages after tissue harvesting. After tissue harvesting, genomic DNA was extracted from the 15 obtained samples, and mouse TCR beta chain CDR3 repertoire data were generated using the ImmunoSeq assay. Due to the quantitative nature of the assay, samples could then be analyzed at the repertoire level and sequence level. Data analyses showed thymus and spleen had the largest repertoires and highest diversity, followed by blood and liver, with the intestine having the smallest repertoire at each age. Most importantly, there was a trend of decreasing T-cell repertoire diversity with increased age. And finally, in comparison between mice, the thymus samples had the most overlap, followed by spleen, blood, liver, and lastly, intestine tissue. What did we discover? The quantitative results for clonality metric comparisons, specifically of CDR3 amino acid sequences provided by the ImmunoSeq assay, helped capture the TCR repertoire dynamics. We learned that TCR repertoires can evolve and change over time, specifically supported by the study data demonstrating a variation in TCR beta chain CDR3 repertoires based on tissue type and time. We'd like to thank Lee et al. for conducting this study. Click here www.immunoseq.com to read this case study or learn more about how ImmunoSeq can help propel your research.